I like to think of myself as some kind of explorer, but it's not really the case. Most of the time I just end up somewhere because of some random reason. In the beginning of June 2018, I found myself in the most crowded place I've ever experienced. Osaka. A vague rumor of some kind of Japanese dry fly fishing society called the Shaku Hunter had led me to follow my friend Marcus. Later on the trip, he would earn the Japanese nickname Maruchan. But while walking the streets of Osaka, I just called him Marcus. He is a very important person and had traveled to Japan together with his sister Melinda, also a very important person. They were going to make some kind of secret business deal together with some very important Japanese people. I was not so important. I just followed them around, hoping I'd pick up a trail that would lead me to the Shako Hunter. But the flood of information in a language I didn't even almost understand led me into some kind of paralyzed state. Paris wheel. Put a berry in the book, boy. At the time Marcus ran out of important hands to shake, we still had a few days left to spend in Japan. And since neither Marcus or Melinda knew any Japanese, we asked the half-god Hachime Sanagawa if he could help us find the Shaku Hunter. We are a Japanese road. Uh, left side. Mm. We didn't really understand what happened after that. But the short story is that he brought us to Kamakura to meet a fly fisher who had a friend which had a friend who knew where we should go. And then all of a sudden, we were on our way to Sendai City to meet Ishiro, the only English-speaking member of the Shaku Hunter. Sendai. I'm not interested in Pokemon. <laughs> uh, Shark Hunter is uh, just uh, the community of fry fishers, and we want to uh, share our Tohoku area culture of fry fishing. In the company of Ishiro, we were leaving the crowded cities of Japan behind us, headed for some hidden mountain creeks inhabited by some of the most beautiful fish on the planet. The Iwana. Uh, Iwana is a Japanese original char. Pretty hard to catch. And if we were lucky, we would also get a glimpse of the beautiful Yamame. It's a kind of a trout. And uh, it's, uh, both of them, they're not big. Shaku means uh, measurement, or, uh, original Japanese measurement, and uh, w one shaku means a thirty point three centimeter. So uh, the same size with this bone size, and uh, maybe uh, Iwana or Yamame grows to shaku size. If you catch a shaku size Iwana or Yamame in the Tohoku region you're accepted as a member of the Shaku Hunter. Uh, our home river, and there are so many good Iwanas, and sometimes we can catch a good Yamame. It's pretty difficult river, so some people can't catch a fish, I guess. <laughs> no, sometimes I couldn't catch a fish. <laughs> no foreigners had yet been included in this exclusive group. 
We didn't really have the skills needed to catch Ishaku, but it felt like they really wanted us to succeed. They led us into their hidden world, and we tried to learn all we could from our masters. All of them gave us one piece of the puzzle we needed to lay in order to catch the shaku. Takosa who was the most experienced fly fisher in the group, showed us where the Ivana were hiding in the lower part of the creek. Although a lot of information were lost in translation, I think we understood the most important lesson. Fly fishing is supposed to be a beautiful sport, so act accordingly. Even if you don't see the fish, the fish might see you. Uskasa-san explained the ancient art of the Japanese double wave cast and taught us that the shaku often shows the most difficult pools because growing to shaku size requires a very smart fish. Then there was Skasa. He knew every centimeter of the river, every rock in it and every branch hanging over it. Without a word, he showed us the importance of the eyes. The shaku could be anywhere in the creek. One single unplanned movement could ruin the day. Soon we had forgotten all about the world outside the valley and were completely absorbed in the hunt for 30.3 centimeter Ivana. But just to be sure we had devoted half an hour to show our respect to the spirits of the creek. It was around that time Marcus became Maruchan. And Marochan cast it like a god. It felt like we couldn't fail. Overseen by the members, we were about to catch a shaku on a dry fly. I don't think the rules said anything about floating flies, but we were not Americans. We weren't gonna throw a streamer into that little creek. It was time for us to join the Shaku Hunter. It was a strange experience. At first we saw all the Ivanas as some tiny char that would take any fly at any time. That was true for the fish below 15 centimeters. But a 20 centimeter fish acted like a well-educated one kilo trout back home in Sweden. 
Is this Shakut? Yeah, it must, be. <laughs> it must be. And the Shakut would probably behave like a picky three kilo fish. And I've never caught a three kilo fish. We had to step up our game. We were only a few centimeters from a membership, but we were running out of time. So we did what any sensible person would do in a pressured situation. We made fire. We filled the kettle with water. We heated the water. We added coffee in the kettle. And we waited. And when we drank the coffee, the situation had changed. A big cloud of spinners formed above us. And then, they started to drop down on the surface. It was like we were blessed by the spirits of the creek. And we had one last chance. Just a few meters upstream was a steady rising Shakun. It was too good to be true. We should have seen it coming. Our spinner imitations disappeared in the steady current of real spinners. And we failed. Beneath their Japanese politeness, it felt like they were disappointed. They had given us so many chances, and we had failed them every time. That evening, we did what failures always have done. We got drunk. But in our drunken minds, we formed a plan. We made a few calls, now with quite impressive Japanese pronunciation, and reschedule our connecting flights to Osaka. And then we had half a day extra by the creek. When we came down to the creek, we saw it. And realized that we maybe had been too focused on the Ivana. There it was, 
the most beautiful fish in the world. The Yamam was cruising up the river, and it was big. Not Shaku, but maybe 25 centimeters. Maruchan, also known as Marcus, had one last chance to repair our reputation in Japan. Friend Ishiro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna celebrate with a good snooze. Yeah. Do you want one, Ishiro? No, thanks. I, I got it. When Sandra, my girlfriend, is not around, I can take the snooze in the middle because uh, because she thinks it looks ugly <laughs> when I take the snooze in the middle. But now she's uh, very far away. So then I can take the snooze in the middle. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> anyway, nice catch. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Even though we didn't catch a shaku, it was all so beautiful. The Japanese forest, the creeks, the people and their way of fishing. And I think we knew that. We weren't good enough to be a part of the legendary group of people known to the world as the Shaku Hunter. But 
I'm still feeling blue. I was happy for a while, but you were not quite a cool. 